guys, Brooks Belanger here, and today I've got a video of two leaf removal jobs that I did just a couple of days ago. I tried to get the walker mower in on the action so you could see it. Unfortunately, that morning started out as one of those mornings where it would seem like nothing would go right. I couldn't get it to start. The battery was dead. Go get my battery charger, and then my battery charger wouldn't work, so I had to leave it behind. On these two jobs, I'd like to point out um, how I do leaf removal. Basically, these are clients that I maintain throughout the year, and I encourage all my clients that I maintain throughout the year to allow me to come every two weeks once the leaves have started to fall, and I'll continue to come every two weeks until all the leaves have fell from the trees. That's just the way I like to do it, because typically I'm on these jobs by myself, and I don't want to roll up on a property and have to deal with knee-deep leaves, struggling to get them up, and then struggling to fit them onto the trailer. I also want to point out the two big differences in these lawns. When you see the first lawn, you'll notice all the leaves are laying on the lawn. This is a lawn that I typically use the walker on in the back area, just to mulch the leaves up back there, because there's not a lot. But that job right there took me about 50 minutes to complete, okay? And then you go to the second lawn and you're gonna see, you don't see any leaves on the lawn. They're actually all in the flower beds and they had to be blown out. And that job took me about two hours to complete. So anybody that's new to this and starting to try to learn how to bid these jobs, you know, you wanna pay attention to things like that. Um, the process of what you have to do to get the leaves in order to pick them up is gonna be a factor in helping you determine if your bid should be more or less. I also want to point out that I'm by myself and that if you had a helper, these jobs go so much quicker, so much smoother. You know, when you're by yourself, you're blowing stuff out and you're getting on the mower, picking it up, emptying in the bags, then going back and blowing again. You know, you don't have none of that nonsense when there's two of you. You got one guy blowing, the other guy just running back and forth, picking up the leaves on the mower. And then also in this video, you'll get to hear um, my Ferris, I pointed out an engine problem. I've been experienced with it in a review that I did of it, so you'll get to hear that. If anybody has any ideas what that problem may be, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Um, I've got a guess, and that's a guess because I'm not a mechanic, is that I need a new carburetor and a kit. I'm going to get a new carburetor kit and have that put on, but um, I'm not 100% sure. Also, so that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, guys, any questions, any comments, good or bad, leave them down below. And until next time, see you then. Over right there. They're really wet. They didn't pick them up. But they're not getting clogged in the chute, so... I'm happy about that, but they are pretty wet. That's it, four passes, what? I think it took me all of 15, maybe 20 minutes. And already halfway done. So let's get back to it. Okay, I dragged most of them onto the tarp. I raked onto the tarp. My rake broke. The client had a rake laying back here, so I just took theirs. I wonder if they're looking at me thinking, what the hell, we pay that guy? He can't even bring his own equipment to do the leaves? Yeah, I don't know. They even had a nicer rake than mine, than the one that broke. Oh well, I'm just gonna blow that little pile out. So I'll drag this out of here and then get the rest of those and I'll be pretty much done. Okay, pretty much done. Just got to pick my stuff up, get my blower, my tarp, and my broker rake. Yeah. I wasn't kidding when I said that the client had a better rake than me. I don't really use a rake that often. I try not to use it. <coughs> So, all I have to do now, get that little pile right there. There you 
again. You hear my mower, the way it idles? I don't know if you saw my review for the IS600Z. I was talking about that in there. When you throttle all the way up, it kind of mellows out. Then when you kick the PTO on, that completely goes away and it runs normal. So I'm going to get this stuff right here. I believe I did six passes through the yard. And when I say passes, I'm talking about how many times I have to empty the bags six times. And there's all the leaves. So I got the other lawn done. I'm here at this next lawn and this lawn is a lot different. The leaves are pretty much 90% all in the flower bed. So I'm gonna have to blow them out first and then I'll just take the ferris and pick them all up. Not much to this one. I do the same thing with this lawn. This is a lawn that I maintain. Uh, I come here about every two weeks and pick the leaves up. So, I'm just going to blow them all out. Here in the back. Let's see what the back looks like. Oh my god. This back here, I don't pick these up. I just can blow them all down this big mountainside here. So, it makes it a little bit easier. I'm going to get up there on the porch and blow the porch off. dump the leaves onto the trailer and then I take this tarp and once I've got the leaves on there I lay the tarp over it and then I walk on it and it packs them down pretty good I got this big giant this heavy breaker bar right here I put it on the front there and then I just take my mower and just ram it up onto the back end of the tarp and it does a pretty good job of stopping the leaves from flying out the trailer. Like I said, I just throw it on top there. And then I, you can see where I walked all on it. And it really, really packs them down good. And then how I remove them is I just back it up to the woods and blow it off with a backpack blower. It takes a little longer, but I don't know. It's kind of the way I've always done it. So let me get started on this. All right, pretty much got the beds all blown out. Not completely. I still got to get that one, but I'm going to go ahead and suck what I got down up. And then I'll blow out the beds one more time, run the ferris over one more time, and I'll be done.
Okay, we're all done. We can clean the sidewalk up. So it's done. That's it's done. I'm out of here, going home. <laughs>